My name is Mukesh Bhargava. I am Managing Director of SEM Textiles Private Limited. I started my professional career in the year 1987. After completing my MBA, I took up a job with a large textile company in Mumbai. And then subsequently I worked with few other companies in India as well as abroad. After having gained experience in corporate sector for 14 years, I started this company SEM Textiles in the year 2001. The initial investment at that point of time was quite less. It was to the tune of a couple of crores. The USP of our product is that school wear is an extremely quality conscious market segment. Here we cannot have any compromises or any deviations on the quality parameters or on the delivery schedules or on the service level. So the biggest USP of SEM Textile is that although we are manufacturers, but we run our company like a service industry. We run our, run our company like a hotel, like a travel agency, and we give extremely good service to our customers and clients. You see, they're, they're, uh, having achieved a substantial growth mm -hmm. and a very sizable chunk of the market share in school uniform, now Semtexel is also getting into the menswear business in, a, in the export trade. So recently we have started with our range of poly wool lycras and 100% wool fabrics. And we, are, we have started supplying these fabrics to very advanced countries like France and Italy. You see, as I said, you know, textile industry is an industry which is a very simple industry. Here, we have to be very correct in our approach and, and in our working. And something which I have told everybody in the company and which I also try and practice personally is that either something is done 100% or it is not done. We do not believe in the philosophy of 98% or 99% because there are no specific barometers through which these sort of percentages can be worked out. So the people that we have been recruiting in our company have always come through references and we have tried and appoint freshers who will come with absolutely blank mind, take ideas from us, take advice and take guidance from us and take our vision forward. You see, Asian markets we have avoided on purpose. We are not catering to any of the Asian countries as of now. We our 100% of our exports are coming from UK, South Africa and Australia markets, which are very, very advanced markets. The basic reason why we have chosen to cater to these, these markets is that these are extremely mature markets and customers are also looking for competitive prices. But in these markets, being the cheapest is not the only criteria of getting business. It's a basket that we have to offer to the customer in the sense, good quality of product, delivery on time, proper service, good communication and obviously a competitive price. You see, secret of success in textile is very easy. It's not a very massively technology driven industry. In textile, there are very few fundamentals which I very strongly believe in and that is what I have inculcated in my staff also. That we have to be honest to ourselves, we have to be honest to our customers, we have to be honest to our suppliers and the staff has to be very honest and sincere towards the organization's growth. As long as we are taking care of these basic ethical requirements, then everything else falls in place. CSR activities is mostly focused on the employees and the staff of SEM Textiles, people who have contributed to the growth of the company, people who are responsible for the profitability in the, in the company. So apart from doing a charity through Rotary or any other organization, our major emphasis is to, is to give the welfare benefits to our staff and employees in the sense any staff of Semtextile getting married is given a certain amount of money towards his marriage expenses. If anybody's uh, child is going to the school, then company provides for this, their school fees. If anybody is falling sick, then we take care of the medical expenses. If somebody's parents are not well, then again we, we chip in uh, from, from the company to see that they are given the best possible medical treatment. So I believe we are at a stage where our CSR activities should be more confined to, our, to the people who are taking care of the growth rather than looking somewhere else. You see, any SME owner uh, or any entrepreneur who is starting a new business and especially the ones who are the first generation entrepreneurs are not really looking for too many awards and recognition to begin with. 
their main aim is to scale up their operations and take the companies to a certain level and then only then they start looking out for uh, public recognition or any other uh, award additions and all those things. So when we started Sam Textiles, getting trophies and awards was not in our mind. Our main intention was to give a solid and strong foundation to the company and scale it to a certain level before we start looking around for these things. So in the, in the last 13 years that we have been in the existence, we have achieved a turnover of almost 200 crores with a reasonable profit margin. So for that, that, that itself is a big award and big achievement for us. Now is the time when people are coming around and wanting to give us awards and trophies, which we are happily accepting.